What's up YouTube, this is Sam the Dapper Tiger and today I'm gonna show you how to list, pack, ship, a book via media mail on Macari. Let's dive into the computer right now. All right, so I'm at my computer here. You can easily do this from your phone just for recording purposes. I'm doing from my computer. So starting out, I want to go to my home page. You want to open up and click on sell on Macari. If you're on mobile, you will see a page very similar to this. This is where you want to plug in your listings. Just to keep things a little shorter, I pulled up the listing for the sold book here. If you're on mobile, your interface is gonna look very similar to mine. Of course, starting out, you wanna include photos. You get up to 12. I just included two here. I made sure I took a very nice photo with a white backdrop, and of course, the title. As you can see, hardcover got cut off here, simply because I only get 40 characters. I'm not too worried about that because when you come down to the description below, you can see I have the full title here and I do that for search engine optimization purposes. And now I'll go in and I'll talk about the condition. I talk about the genre. I give it a rating. I find a synopsis online. I copy and I paste it into the description. This is not my type words. I'm not really too worried about it, but this is a synopsis of the book itself for my buyer. So I will always include something about the shipping and my handling. I try to give the buyer reassurance about where the book is coming from. I like to thank the buyer for taking a look. And most importantly, I will always include hashtags. So as you can see here, I include the title of the book, the author of the book, and the genre of the book. Now, if you come down here, we can navigate through uh, and you'll get these suggested categories. So I just pick literature and fiction, but in order to get there, this will be similar on phone. So we want to scroll, scroll to other, and then we go to books. For me, I'm gonna pick literature and fiction, but as you can see down here, there are a ton of categories that you can choose from. So pick accordingly based on the type of books or the genre that you're selling. So I'm gonna select literature and fiction. Then we'll scroll down some more. So over here you can put in the brand. I'm not really sure of the publisher. I already sold the book, I can't really remember. Brand. I'm gonna leave that blank. If you do know, you can put it in. Macari's database for publishers is not always up to date. You can manually enter it in yourself, but I don't really get too caught up into it. I've been selling books without putting in the brand. Because of the condition that I found them in, I found, I found this book in the dumpster. The pictures of the book are great. So I'm not gonna list as new, I'm just gonna do like new, just knowing where they came from. But I would be honest about your listing. So if you do have books that are uh, a little bit more used, make sure you use these gradings accordingly. You don't want to give your buyer a reason to return. And if your buyer submits a return and Macari sees that your listing is inaccurate or is a mismatch to what you sent to the buyer, Macari will take the buyer side and refund the buyer their money. Oh, come on, man. So you make sure you enter your zip code here. And now we want to go into shipping. I already know this book weighs over one pound, so its recommended shipping is $10. What? So to ship a book for $10 is ridiculous. We're going to come into here. We're going to edit shipping. You're not gonna see all this. This is gonna be a little different on your mobile. Automatically, you'll, you'll see this come up. Uh, do I wanna offer free shipping? Yes. And now Mercari's gonna ask you if you want to purchase one of their prepaid labels or do I wanna ship on my own? So I'm gonna ship on my own. I'm gonna hit save. And that should save as that. And then I'm gonna set my price. This will tell me my profits. So you want to subtract $3.33 from this number here to get your actual net profit on this book. So that would be about $10 for me. And then most importantly, you want to go ahead and hit list. And there you go. Your listing should pop up. This is going to look a little different for any anybody on mobile where my picture is stacked on top of this bar. So as you scroll down, this is what you'll see. Now that I've listed the book, let's show you what happens after I've sold it. For this next part, you will need an account with pirateship.com. book we want to go back into our account 
and find the action required tab in our web browser or mobile. Go ahead and click on the item that you want to ship. Now we want to open up pirateship.com. From here, we want to click create single label. Now let's go over to Mercari and copy over the buyer's name and paste it into pirate ship. Paste it into the bar here. Next, we're gonna copy and paste over the buyer's address. Once you enter it into pirate ship, it's gonna auto populate an address in there. Go ahead and select the best matching address and it will fill in the rest of the boxes for you. Now let's go ahead and package it up. Here's the book. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little what you call schmutz right there. So I'm gonna go wipe that off real quick, be right back. Got my paper towel here with rubbing alcohol soaked on it. I'm gonna wipe down the book. This is a dumpster find after all. Ew. All right, now that I left the book dry, I got it in bubble wrap. I'm just gonna wrap it up. All right, next step, we gotta take our uh, package and weigh it. So this is one pound three, so I'll round up and call four ounces. Uh, I'm gonna mail it in this nine by 13 poly mailer here. Can't forget about the thank you note. Aaron, thank you for your purchase and support. Hope you enjoy the book, stay safe, Dapper Tiger. I got a bunch of these from an estate sale, which I've just been using them ever since I've started reselling. So that's gonna go inside the bag. Okay, so with it all wrapped up, we're at one pound, four ounces. Back into the computer again. We want to go ahead and drop down and select envelope and padded envelope setting. We're gonna scroll down a little bit more and enter in the package information. So nine by 13 and the weight's gonna be one pound, four ounces. And then we're gonna scroll down to extra services, click the plus symbol, and then you'll see a drop down menu and select qualifies for media mail. And then we're gonna click on get rates. You can see here the total is $3.33 to the buyer. I'm gonna go ahead and select buy label. Now you're gonna get an option to print the label. I'm gonna confirm shipment first, so I'm gonna copy this over. I'm gonna click item has been shipped. Drop down, select the carrier. In this instance, it's USPS. And from here, we're gonna plug in the tracking number that we just copied over. And we're gonna go ahead and notify the buyer. And that will complete the Macari end until it gets delivered. Now back to pirate ship, we have to print our label. So easy enough, go ahead and hit print label and then hit the print button and then hit print and this will go straight to my thermal printer. All right, we got our book packed, we got our label on, let's get out of here. I hope you found value in this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. If I brought you value today, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that notification bell just in case so you don't miss out on when I drop these quality videos. And until next time, peace.